This piece is a direct result of trying to copy the patterns in this fish scale jasper. What I wanted to do was make that pattern in three dimensions but transparent. In order to achieve that effect, what I did was take a clear billet and cut it into strips and then tiny cubes. I then put those cubes into a tumbler to give them a slight hazy surface which is what creates the white lines within the casting. I also pre-slumped each section so that when they went into the mold they would form gentle intersections between each piece. Fortunately I forgot that that actually polishes them so I had to put them back in the tumbler and then put them in the kiln. Once they were in the kiln they were fused into a solid form and then I went out and got myself a nice piece of nice or rock and then I combined the two pieces together. After about a week, the glue is fully cured and it's time to carve and polish the piece. You might be wondering why I didn't use the fish scale jasper for this piece. I just didn't feel like the glass matched it that well, so I'm going to do a couple other experiments before I get to using it. It didn't turn out the way I had originally expected, but that's part of what I love about this process. 